I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to share some thoughts with you today. Imagine this, you're standing at the edge of a vast, beautiful landscape, the horizon stretching endlessly before you. The air is fresh with possibility, and the path ahead is yours to choose. This moment right here is where a journey of profound transformation begins. It's a journey titled Never Going Back. There's a powerful story about a general who, upon arriving on enemy shores, ordered his men to burn their ships. As the flames consumed the only way back, he declared, we either win or we perish. You see, sometimes in life, to move forward, to truly capture the essence of our potential, we have to make a decision that there's no turning back. That's the essence of our discussion today. But what does it mean, really? To never go back? It's not just about closing doors on the past. It's about opening a gateway to the future. It's about making a conscious decision to step into a new chapter of life, one where growth, learning, and self-discovery are the guiding principles. You might wonder, how does one make such a commitment? Commitment, commitment. Well, it starts with a single yet profound decision, a decision that from this point forward, life will be different. That decision might stem from a moment of realization, a point of exhaustion with the old ways, or an inspiring vision of what could be. It's a decision that sets you on a path of relentless pursuit towards a better self, a better life. Think of it as planting a tree when you plant it, you're not just putting a seed in the ground. You're investing in a future where that tree grows, flourishes, and provides shade and fruit. In the same way, when you decide to never go back, you're planting the seed of your future self, a self that's stronger, wiser, and more fulfilled. Let me tell you, this decision, this commitment, is not for the faint of heart. It requires courage determination, and an unwavering belief in oneself. It's a declaration that the old ways, the old habits, and the old thinking no longer serve you. It's an acknowledgement that the only way to grow to truly live is to move forward, ever forward, without a backward glance. I want you to think about what never going backs means for you. Is it about overcoming a challenge that's held you back? Is it about pursuing a dream you've long suppressed? Or is it about personal growth and development? Whatever it is, know the journey of never going back is unique for each one of us, but the essence remains the same. It's a journey of transformation, growth, and relentless pursuit of a life that's worth living. What it means to make that unbreakable commitment to ourselves how? By never going back, we can create a future that's more vibrant, more fulfilling, and more aligned with our true potential. A journey where the only way is forward. The first step is harnessing the power of decision. You see, in life, we often stand at crossroads where the paths of continuation and change intersect. It's at these junctures where the strength of a decision can truly shine. A decision is more than a simple choice. It's a declaration of intent, a commitment that sets the wheels of change in motion. Consider for a moment the decisions that have shaped your life so far. Some were small, almost inconsequential, like choosing what to have for breakfast. Others, however, were monumental, perhaps deciding your career path, who to marry, or even deciding to take a stand for something you believe in. Each decision, big or small, has contributed to the tapestry of your life. But now we're talking about a decision that eclipses all others, the decision to transform, to evolve, to never go back to the person you were before. This kind of decision demands more from us. It's not made lightly, nor is it made in haste. It's a decision born from deep introspection a clearer understanding of what we want, and more importantly, what we need to leave behind. It's like sculpting, chipping away at the unnecessary, the redundant, the hindering, until we reveal the true masterpiece beneath. 
our potential. The beauty of decision-making lies in its immediacy and its impact. The moment you decide, truly decide, the universe begins to shift. Doors open, opportunities arise, and the right people seem to come into your life as if by magic. But this is no magic. It's the power of intention, the power of a resolute decision. Yet why do so many of us hesitate to make these life-altering decisions? Often it's fear, fear of the unknown, fear of failure, or even fear of our own potential. But remember, the oak tree was once just an acorn that stood its ground. It's in the moments of decision that your destiny is shaped, making a significant change, deciding to never go back means standing your ground against the winds of doubt and uncertainty. Think about the last time you were faced with a difficult decision. Perhaps you were teetering on the edge of a new venture or contemplating a major life change. What held you back? Was it comfort in the known, the predictable? Understand this, growth and comfort do not coexist. To grow, you must step into the realm of discomfort, make the decision to face the unknown, and embrace it. I want you to think about the power that decision holds in your life. It's like a rudder on a ship. Small, yet it has the power to change the entire course. Every great journey, every remarkable achievement began with a decision. Someone, somewhere, decided to try, to push, to believe, and that's what I'm urging you to do today. Decide. Decide to push beyond your limits. Decide to forge a new path. Decide that the life you've dreamed of is not just a possibility, but a certainty, if only you make the decision to pursue it relentlessly. But how do you make such a decision? It starts with clarity. You must first clear the fog of indecision, clear away the doubts and fears. Ask yourself, what I really want, yeah. what others want for you, not what you think you should want, but what you, deep in your heart, truly desire. This clarity is the first step in making a decision that can change your life. Once you have clarity, the next step is commitment. A decision without commitment is like a boat without a sail. It might be afloat, but it's not going anywhere. Commitment is your sail. It's what propels you forward, what keeps you moving, even when the waters get rough. It's easy to make a decision when the seas are calm, but the true test comes when you face waves of opposition and doubt. That's when your commitment to your decision, your commitment to never go back, is truly tested. Now, let's talk about action. A decision, no matter how powerful, is nothing without action. You've decided to never go back. You've committed to this path. And now you must act. Action is the bridge between decision and achievement. It's one thing to decide to change. It's another to take the steps necessary to bring that change about. Action doesn't always mean monumental steps. Sometimes it's the small, consistent actions that lead to the greatest changes. It's about doing something, however small, each day that moves you closer to your goal. It's about building momentum, one step at a time, until your decision becomes your reality. I want you to hold on to the power of your decision. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it guide you. Your decision to never go back is the first step in a transformative journey, a journey that will lead you to heights you've never imagined. And remember, in the grand story of your life, this decision, this moment, could be the chapter where everything changes. As we embrace the power of decision and commit to never going back, we must also, the past with its complexities, its triumphs and trials, is a rich tapestry from which we can draw immense wisdom. It's not just a memory, it's a mentor. Yet the art lies in learning from the past, not living in it. Consider the past as a guidebook, one that's personal to each of us. Every chapter, every page holds lessons. 
insights, and sometimes warnings. It's where our failures turned into stepping stones, where our missteps became lessons. The past is replete with experiences that shaped us, but here's the key. It shaped us. It doesn't define us. There's a profound saying that goes, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. This isn't just about remembering. It's about understanding, analyzing, and extracting the wisdom that our past experiences have to offer. It's about taking those experiences and turning them into fuel for our journey forward. But how often do we find ourselves chained to our past? How often do we let past failures, past rejections, and past disappointments dictate our present and our future? It's a common trap, one that's easy to fall into. But remember, while the rear view mirror is important, it's small compared to the windshield. Our focus should be on what's ahead. Think of a time when you failed at something. Initially, it might have felt like the end of the world. But with time, perspective, and reflection, you likely found a lesson in that failure, a lesson that's now a part of your wisdom arsenal. This is the beauty of learning from the past. It turns pain into progress, failure into fortitude. It's also crucial to celebrate the victories of our past. These are not just triumphs to be remembered fondly. They are evidence of our capability, our resilience. They are reminders that we have overcome before and we can overcome again. These victories are the milestones that mark our journey, reminding us of how far we've come and fueling us for the journey still ahead. But there's a delicate balance to be maintained. While the past is a treasure trove of lessons, we must be careful not to become its prisoner. Dwelling on what was instead of focusing on what can be is a surefire way to stagnate. Our past should be a launching pad, not out of hammock. It's meant to propel us forward, not keep us comfortably stuck in what used to be. Consider for a moment the concept of change. Our past is where we were, our present is where we are, and our future is where we are going. Life is a continuum of change, and our ability to learn from the past plays a critical role in navigating this change. It equips us with the knowledge, the wisdom, and the resilience to face new challenges, to adapt, and to grow. But learning from the past isn't just about personal reflection. It's also about learning from others. History is replete with stories of great men and women who have triumphed over adversity, who have turned their struggles into success stories. Their journeys, their decisions, their resilience can serve as beacons of inspiration for us. By learning from their experiences, we can avoid some pitfalls and accelerate our own journey of growth. Now, as we continue on our path of never going back, I want you to think about your own past. Think about the lessons it holds, the wisdom it offers. What have you learned from your failures? What strengths were born from your struggles? How have your victories shaped your belief in yourself? These reflections are invaluable as you forge ahead. But remember, while you reflect, don't linger. The past is a place of reference, not residence. We visit, we learn, and we move on. Our focus should be on the road ahead, on the potential of the future. We take the lessons from our past, but we leave the baggage behind. We keep the wisdom, but we shed the weight of past regrets. These lessons from the past be your guide. Let them be the wisdom that informs your decisions, the strength that underpins your resolve. And as you carry these lessons with you, remember this. Every day is a new beginning, a fresh start. Every sunrise is an opportunity to write a new chapter, a chapter where you are wiser, stronger, and more resilient because of your past, not in spite of it. So, as we look ahead, let's do so with a sense of gratitude for our past. Gratitude for the lessons, for the growth, for the journey. And with this gratitude, let's step boldly into our future, a future where we never go back, only forward, armed with the wisdom of our past and the unyielding belief in our potential.
Let's continue this journey together with our eyes set firmly on the horizon where endless possibilities await. Fueled by the lessons of our past and our unwavering commitment to never go back, we encounter two powerful allies, discipline and consistency. These are the twin pillars upon which lasting change and true progress are built. They are the engines of achievement, the unsung heroes in our quest for transformation. Discipline, in its essence, is the ability to give yourself a command. It's the inner strength that propels you to get up each morning with purpose, to do what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like doing it. Discipline is choosing what you want most over what you want now. It's the small, repeated actions that, over time, create a great difference. But be honest, discipline is not always easy. It demands sacrifice, and it challenges the very human desire for immediate gratification. It's like tending a garden. You plant the seeds, you water them, you tend to them even when you cannot yet see the fruits of your labor. Discipline is watering that garden every day, trusting that in time, the fruits of your labor will bloom. And then there's consistency. Consistency is discipline's faithful companion. It's about showing up day in and day out, regardless of the circumstances. It's about commitment to the process, understanding that real change doesn't happen overnight. Consistency is the rhythm of progress. Just as the heart beats steadily to give us life, consistency beats in the background of our efforts, giving life to our dreams, our goals, our aspirations. Consider the greatest achievers you know or have read about. Whether in the arts, sciences, sports, or business, their success was not a product of sporadic bursts of effort, but rather the result of consistent disciplined action over time. It's the daily discipline, the consistent effort that turns potential into reality. Now you might wonder, how does one cultivate these qualities? The answer lies in starting small. It's not about making grandiose changes overnight. It's about making small incremental changes consistently. It's about setting manageable goals, tasks that are challenging yet achievable, and then committing to completing them every single day. The beauty of discipline and consistency is that they feed into each other. The more consistent you are, the more disciplined you become. And the more disciplined you are, the easier it becomes to maintain consistency. It's a virtuous cycle, one that it elevates you step by step towards But not forget, discipline and consistency are not just about achieving goals. They're also about building character. They shape us into individuals who can withstand challenges, who can persevere through adversity, who can commit to a path and see it through to the end. They teach us about ourselves, about our limits, and how to push beyond them. This path of never going back, discipline and consistency as our trusted companions. Let's understand that every day we adhere to them. We're not just moving closer to our goals. We're becoming better, stronger, more resilient versions of ourselves. And yes, there will be days when your resolve is tested, when your commitment wavers, when the comfort of old habits beckons. In those moments, remember why you started, the decision you made to never go back. Draw on the strength of your discipline, the power of your consistency, and push through. For it's in those moments, those challenging moments, that the true transformation happens. So, as we march forward, let's commit to being disciplined in our actions, consistent in our efforts. Understand that the path to greatness, to true transformation, is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's a journey marked not by leaps and bounds, but by steady, unwavering steps forward. Discipline and consistency are your guides. They are the quiet forces that will keep you on track, that will ensure that every step you take is a step forward. With them by your side, the journey may be long, the journey may be challenging, 
but the destination, a life of achievement, fulfillment, and continuous growth is worth every step. As we journey along the path paved by discipline and consistency, we encounter a landscape that is both exhilarating and intimidating, the landscape of change. Change is the constant companion of growth and to truly embrace the journey of never going back. We must learn to embrace change and in the process, overcome the fear that so often accompanies it. Change in its very nature is transformative. It is the turning of the seasons, the metamorphosis of the caterpillar into a butterfly. It represents the evolution of our very beings, a necessary process in our journey of self-discovery and growth. Yet why do we so often resist it? Why does the thought of change stir a sense of fear within us? Fear of change is deeply rooted in the unknown. It's the uncertainty that change brings the stepping out of our comfort zone into uncharted waters. This fear can be paralyzing, holding us back from pursuing new opportunities, from growing, from truly living. But remember, the only way to discover the limits of the possible is to venture a little way past them into the impossible. Think about a time in your life when you faced a significant change. It might have been a new job, a move to a different city, or even the start of a new relationship. Recall the feelings of apprehension, the barrage of what if. But then, remember the outcome. More often than not, that change brought growth, new experiences, and a broader perspective on life. To embrace change is to embrace the very essence of life. Life is dying. It's an ever-flowing river, not a stagnant pond. Embracing change is choosing to ride the waves rather than fighting against the current. It's understanding that change is not just inevitable, but it's also beneficial. It's the catalyst for growth, the doorway to new experiences, and the pathway to personal evolution. But how do we overcome the fear that so often accompanies change. Acknowledge the fear, understand its roots, but don't let it control you. Fear is like a shadow. It's a mere reflection, not the reality. When you shine the light of awareness on fear, you diminish its power over you. Next, cultivate a mindset of resilience and adaptability. Just as the oak tree bends in the storm, but doesn't break, learn to adapt to the changes around you while maintaining your core strength. Resilience is not about avoiding the storm. It's about learning to dance in the rain. It's about finding the strength within you to face the unknown, to adapt, and to thrive. Another powerful tool in overcoming fear is visualization. Visualize yourself successfully navigating the change. Picture the growth, the opportunities, and the joy that change can bring. By doing so, you shift your focus from fear to possibility. You start to see change not as a threat, but as an ally in your journey of never going back. Every great achievement in history was once considered impossible. Every pioneer, every innovator, every leader faced the fear of change. They felt the apprehension, the uncertainty, but they didn't let it stop them. Instead, they embraced change, harnessed it, and used it as a stepping stone to greatness. Adopt the same mindset. Let's see change as an opportunity to test our limits, to break the boundaries of our comfort zone. Let's use it as a tool to propel us forward, to discover aspects of ourselves we never knew existed. In this journey of never going back, change is not our, our enemy. It is our ally. It is the force that challenges us, pushes us, and ultimately transforms us into better, stronger, more capable individuals. So let's embrace change with open arms. Let's meet it with courage, with resilience, and with a spirit of adventure. And as we do, Let's remember that on the other side of fear lies freedom. The freedom to grow, to explore, to live a life unbound by the chains of the familiar and the comfortable. 
This is the essence of our journey, a journey where we not only accept change, but welcome it as an essential part of our growth. Move forward with confidence, with a sense of excitement for the unknown paths that lie ahead. Let's overcome our fears and embrace the transformative power of change. And in doing so, let's unlock the full potential of our lives, lives where we never go back, only forward into a future filled with endless possibilities and boundless opportunities. In this journey of embracing change and overcoming fear, another critical step stands before us, the setting and achieving of goals. Goals are the markers on the path of life. They give direction, purpose, and a sense of achievement. Without goals, we're like ships without rudders, drifting aimlessly on the sea of life. Goals give us a destination, a point on the horizon to strive towards. But setting goals is more than just a whimsical act of listing desires. It's an art, a science, and a testament to our aspirations. It's about identifying what we truly want to achieve what we yearn for in the depths of our hearts. A goal should be like a beacon of light guiding us through the darkest of nights. The process of setting goals starts with clarity. You need to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. It's like painting a picture. The first stroke is to have a vivid image in your mind. What does success look like to you? What does fulfillment feel like? These shouldn't be vague notions, but clear. Tangible objectives, whether it's a career aspiration, a personal development goal, or health and fitness milestone. The clearer your vision, the stronger your path towards achieving it. But it's not just about setting goals. It's about setting the right kind of goals. They should be challenging yet achievable, ambitious yet realistic. Goals that are too easy won't motivate you, and goals that are too lofty can lead to disappointment. Find that sweet spot where your goals stretch your capabilities, but remain within the realm of possibility. Once your goals are set, the next step is planning. A goal without a plan is just a wish. You need to devise a strategy, a roadmap that will guide you from where you are to where you want to be. This plan should include specific steps, milestones, and timelines. It's like constructing a building. You need a blueprint, a clear idea of what needs to be done, when and how. And then comes the most crucial part, taking action. Goals remain dreams unless they are pursued with action. This is where discipline and consistency, our trusted allies, come into play again. It's about taking those small, consistent steps towards your goals, day in and day out, even when progress seems slow. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. But not forget, the path to achieving our goals is rarely a straight line. There will be obstacles, setbacks, and challenges along the way. This is where resilience and adaptability become essential. You must be willing to adapt your plans, learn from setbacks, and keep moving forward. Every obstacle is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to come back strong. Another key element in achieving goals is accountability. Hold yourself accountable for your progress. Track your steps, celebrate your milestones, and reflect on your journey. Sometimes sharing your goals with a trusted friend or a mentor can provide an additional layer of accountability. And it's about keeping the promise you made to yourself. Visualization is also a powerful tool in achieving goals. Visualize yourself achieving your goals, experiencing the success, the fulfillment, and the joy that comes with it. This visualization not only motivates, but also prepares your mind and body for the reality of achieving your goals. Be flexible with your goals. Sometimes as we journey towards our goals, we evolve, and so do our desires and aspirations. It's okay to adjust your goals, to refine them to align with your growth. What's important is that you are moving forward, growing and expanding your horizons. As we continue on this path of never going back, 
Approach goal setting with the seriousness and commitment it deserves. Set goals that challenge us, that excite us, and that push us to reach new heights. And let's pursue these goals with determination, with resilience, and with an unwavering belief in our ability to achieve them. Your goals are your North Star, guiding you towards your destiny. With each goal achieved, you are not just closer to your destination. You are a better, stronger, more capable version of yourself. So, let's set our goals with clarity and conviction. Let's pursue them with courage and persistence, and let's achieve them with pride and fulfillment. And as we do so, that the true beauty of achieving goals lies not just in the destination, but in the journey, the growth, the learning, and the experiences that shape us along the way. Our goals lighting our path and our spirits soaring with the possibility of what lies ahead. Set our sights high and let's never go back, only forward towards our dreams, our aspirations, and our brightest future. In our extraordinary journey, having navigated the landscapes of decision, learning from the past, embracing the twin pillars of discipline and consistency, and setting forth towards our goals with determination, we arrive at a fundamental cornerstone, the unwavering commitment to growth. Never going back is not just a phrase. It's a philosophy, a mindset that underlines every step we take on this path of continuous self-improvement. Growth is the essence of life, like a tree that stretches towards the sky. We too must aspire to reach higher, to expand our branches of knowledge, understanding, and experience. But growth is not a passive process. It demands an active, deliberate commitment. It's about choosing to evolve each day to become a little better than we were yesterday. This commitment to growth is what separates the extraordinary from the ordinary. It's what turns potential into reality. It's the inner fire that propels us forward, the relentless drive that fuels our journey of never going back. Growth is not just about acquiring new skills or knowledge. It's about internal transformation, about becoming more resilient, more adaptable, more aware. Be clear, this commitment to growth is not a smooth road. It's laden with challenges, with obstacles that test our resolve our resilience. There will be moments of doubt, moments of struggle, moments where the temptation to revert to our old ways will be strong. But it's in these moments that our commitment is truly tested. And it's in these moments that we must remind ourselves of our decision to never go back. Embracing growth means embracing change, not just once, but as a constant, ongoing, it's about being open to new ideas, new perspectives, and new experiences. It's about stepping out of our comfort zones, pushing our boundaries, and daring to explore uncharted territories. Growth is an endless horizon, a journey that continues as long as we breathe. The commitment to growth is not a burden. It's a liberating path to self-fulfillment. It's the joy of discovering new aspects of ourselves, the satisfaction of overcoming challenges, and the exhilaration of achieving what we once thought impossible. It's the realization that we are capable of so much more than we ever imagined. In this commitment, let's also acknowledge the role of gratitude. Be grateful for the experiences that have shaped you, for the lessons learned, for the people who have supported and inspired you. Gratitude grounds us, reminding us of where we've come from and the progress we've made. Let's do so with a sense of purpose, with a heart full of gratitude, and with eyes fixed on the future. Let's renew our commitment to growth every day, in every decision we make, in every challenge we face. Let's build a life where going back is not an option, where stagnation is not in our vocabulary, where growth is not just a goal, but a way. So, as we move forward, let's carry this commitment in our hearts, a commitment that fuels our journey, that guides our steps, 
and that lights our way. And let's do so with the knowledge that on this path of never going back, every step we take is a step towards a better, stronger, more fulfilled self. Let's embrace this journey with passion, with determination, and with the unshakable belief that the best of our story is yet to be written.